Hello, welcome to LEV Toys. Well, school is in session. It is time to open and build the Lego Friends Heart Lake High School. And I've had a lot of you asking about this one, so I have got it ready here for you. There are lots of cool features in this. So let's open it up and we will start building. So in here we have got a sheet of stickers, two books and four bags of building to do. So let's find the mini dolls first. This is cool because this set comes with three of them. First up we build Stephanie here. You can tell it's Stephanie, you recognise her long blonde hair. She is dressed very sensibly for school in a nice long sleeved cardigan. It must be spring or autumn or maybe just a particularly cool summer day. And. We also get a boy mini doll in here, which is really cool. Meet Matthew. He looks awesome with his very, very trendy hair, which is all swished off to the side. And he looks like lots of fun. So I think that he and Stephanie are going to have a really good time at school. But of course, they do need a teacher to keep them in line and to teach them stuff. And look at her shoes. They're interesting. They've got they're like these slingbacks. That's pretty cool. I don't know that I've seen those shoes on any other mini dolls. And look at her face. She's got gorgeous green eyes and glasses. Obviously she needs glasses because she's a teacher, right? Is that how it works? I don't think so. I think there's a bit of stereotyping going on here. But she does look very studious and she's got this, I don't know, gold dot on her hand. I'm going to assume that it is the blackboard eraser. So let's go with that until I figure out something different. But first up, we get a bicycle. Well, we don't. It's for Stephanie, so that Stephanie can ride to school. So here it is, and she's also got her very cool satchel. That's really nice. And when, oh, when we put it on, when we put it on, it pops off and knocks Matthew over. But it looks as though it might be safely attached to the back of the bike now. So she is ready to cycle her way to school. And while she's sitting up there just trying it out for balance. We are going to start building one of the cool features of this. We're going to have so much fun with this. I'm going to build it up and then you can figure out what it is. In fact, I think the minute I put a sticker on it, you're going to know exactly what it is. Can you tell? Can you tell? What does the sticker tell you it's going to be? Yes, it's a basketball hoop. So we have got this enormous basketball hoop. I mean, seriously, look at the size of it compared to the mini dolls. You can fit the mini dolls through them, but you actually can't fit Miss Stevens through it. Yeah, it might be because of her blackboard eraser blocking the way, but let's see if Stephanie fits through, you know, just for fun. Are you gonna fit through and pop? Yeah, <laughs> she even bounces. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Stephanie. I'm very sorry, little mini dolls. Could you please just stand over here while I finish building this, this hoop? You know, I'm really not sorry because we might put them through again but here's the orange basketball that comes with it and I've already lost one of these from another set so I'm gonna be very careful that I don't let this one roll away somewhere where I can't find it and let's go Stephanie go Woo! well done oh hold on now that one just rolled away try again yes excellent job and can she uh, uh this is a slam dunk in she slam dunked herself in there with the ball right enough frivolity let's put the basketball away put Stephanie's hair back on, everybody's dishevelled, and we'll build the next little piece. This is very cute too. Every school needs one of these, or several of these for all the students. This is the lunch table, the picnic table that you can sit at outside in the sun to eat your lunch. And it also has got a laptop on it, Stephanie's laptop, I believe. And she can sit here doing anything that she has forgotten to do, or she could put it aside and she could actually have a chat to Matthew. That would be nice rather than staring at the laptop screen. So while they're up there conversing, we'll build the first teeny tiny room. What do you think might be a teeny tiny room in a school? What room is really, really important, but doesn't take up a lot of space? Have you guessed yet? Here is a sink. Stephanie's going to stand at the sink. And this part here, you must have guessed by now, is the toilet. Yes, the teeniest, tiniest room in here is the bathroom. Because currently there's only two students at the school and one teacher. So you only need one toilet for all of those. And this is apparently a unisex bathroom, which means that both boys and girls can use it. Not at the same time, obviously, uh, but, but it's for both. And here on this wall in the toilet for you to look at while you're in there is, oh my goodness, it must be a lost cat called Ella and you can take one of those little tabs if you see Ella and you can ring that number. There are some very cute stickers in this, some very cool stickers, and they really decorate the school nicely. So here we go, that's the bathroom. 
the bathroom is all done. There is not a lot of room in here, so if we open the door and try and get Stephanie in, there we go. She's just got enough room to get in there and we'll shut the door for some privacy while we open bag number two. And she must have finished in there. So I hope she flushed the toilet and washed her hands because we're now building the next room. We got these little joints on either side because we can mix and match the rooms up. We can move where they go. Both of these mini dolls are going to come in, Stephanie and Miss Stevens, and they're going to check to make sure that this build goes very, very well. Because this is an important room. This room has got the cafeteria. Look, there's a cash register. Matthew's coming in to see what he's going to order for lunch. Actually, now he's just going to sit on that bench over there. <laughs> because we haven't actually made anything for lunch yet. But here we go, there's one, one uh, something, cheese and lettuce on rye and uh, uh, bologna and lettuce on white. And we've got some juice and a milk carton. So a carton of milk and a juice box. So they can choose those from the cafeteria for their lunch. And here's the price, $3 for the milk. And that goes obviously behind the checkout where you can see it, not on the other side. <laughs> Silly me. Okay, two doors. There's one. Because this is the main entrance to the school. There. So two doors and the other side with a little bit of glass so you can see in. And on this wall here we've got the information board so that the students can decide what sort of activities they would like to be involved with during school hours. I once again love the colour scheme in this. It is pale yellow and the navy blue and there's a lot of purple as well. Not so much pink so this would be good for both girls and boys. I like this set. And now for the most important sign of all, the one that says high school. So they know where they've come to. It is, it's high school, it is time for school. We still need to decorate this front entrance here, though it does look very inviting. Now it looks even more inviting with some pretty flowers. There. <laughs> now, not yellow or navy blue or purple. This is a boring old gray, this structure here. And I wonder if you can guess what this is. It needs two opening doors. And I think you probably have a good idea by now, but I'm gonna put the stickers on. Here are some blue ones with basketballs on here. It's probably designed for Matthew, if we're gonna use stereotypes here, but you know what? I don't see any reason Stephanie couldn't use it. We might have some fun with that in a minute. And on the top is another locker, because like I said, there's only two students at this school, <laughs> so we only need two lockers. <laughs> And it's got some pink and stars, so that's very obviously aimed towards <laughs> aimed towards Stephanie. Um, it doesn't look like we can actually fit that basketball in there very well. It might pop out at any moment. Well, Stephanie has come in and she's having a look. And do you know what? Stephanie does not like having the top locker. It's really, really hard for her to reach. So she has asked Matthew very nicely if she can use the bottom locker. And Matthew is, of course, is very amenable to that suggestion. He will do anything to please Stephanie and he's quite happy to have the top locker. So they've swapped lockers and now we are attaching the bathroom to the side. This is a fabulous little modular set. We can put these rooms wherever we like. So we'll have them play around with that too in a moment. But we are now up to bag three. This room here is the first of two classrooms. They're both built in almost exactly the same way. Look, we have got a world map on one wall. This is Miss Stevens' very important room. So she's checking out to make sure that we have it structurally sound and we're doing it exactly the way she wants us to. And I love the little flowers and the windows. We've got three of these matching. So here's one, two, and three. Look, enough for everybody to look out. <laughs> That's really nice. They can have a look out outside at the weather rather than sitting inside and looking at their books but that will have to happen soon enough when we build all of the school part inside, all of the learning equipment. But while we're building the outside structure, they can keep looking out the window, I think. <laughs> They'll have to concentrate very soon. Right, everybody out, because we need to put all of the schooling equipment inside. We have two of these white benches lined up along the wall under the window. 
and this really nice lime green one. And on here sits an owl. I have not decided whether this is a stuffed taxidermy owl or whether it's a live owl. I think it might be a stuffed owl because it's being used for their lessons on owl structure and how an owl is put together and the wings for flight and, and claws and all about an owl, all of the biology of an owl. And over here in the corner we have got a very nice little green stool and now we need a couple of desks. So one chair first, see? Perfect size for Stephanie. And a desk. Perfect. And the owl's trying out the desk as well. And one at the front for Matthew. And here's the owl here too. And Miss Stevens can stand at the front. Oops. Hold on, Matthew. You've fallen out of your desk. You must have been swinging on your chair. You should never swing on your chair. And here we've got some of the science equipment. These are cool little builds. I love these little details. This one is a microscope and Stephanie could either use it at her desk or she could go over here in the corner and she could use it here. She'll have to stand on the stool to be able to see down in it. That's a perfect design there. And there's a chemistry uh, solution there of a potion of some sort. That'll be fun when they do their chemistry class. And what are they doing on their tables? I think they're so excited <laughs> because they've heard that there is going to be a telescope installed in their classroom. Not sure that they should be standing on their desks, but they're very, very excited. So we'll put this telescope in. And if we face it that way, it's not going to see too much. I wonder if we can get it out the window. Let's see. There we can. We can angle it out the window. Now, what can we see during the day? Probably not very much, except for Matthew jumping up and down in front of it. Go away, Matthew. <laughs> Back in your seat, young man. Now, there are also a couple of very important studious books here. This one has got a couple of flowers in it. It looks like a biology manual, biology textbook. Maybe it's got pressed flowers in it. Maybe they're going to investigate the flowers under a microscope. I don't know. This one obviously has got a letter in it, a secret letter to be passed. I don't think that's got anything to do with the science lesson as such, but it is hidden in that book. And now we are up to bag number four. And the first part of bag four is this cute little build here, which is just the tiniest bit of roof and it has got a clock on it. So it goes up here, up here on top, or we can actually put it on top of some of the other classrooms as I'll show you in a moment. So we can put it, we can put that classroom on top of the cafeteria and we'll leave it like that for now. I'll show you how we can pull it apart after we finish the whole thing. It's really cool, there's a lot we can do here. So we've got one more classroom to build. And this one's got a lot of good stuff in it all the stuff that we love doing, the art classroom and music is combined together. So we need some more of these little, little connecting pieces on the side. This room is put together in exactly the same way as the science classroom. Now we have these three windows again with all of their pretty flowers. There, that's the outside done. Now we just need to build all of the structure along the top. awning over the windows to make sure the snow and the rain don't come in. And now we can put the pieces inside. This is the cool part. There are lots of good things in here. So we have the music stand and a guitar for the guitar lessons. And here we have got a drawer with a couple of extra paints, blue and yellow. And in the bottom we can store the paint brushes. Comes with two, two for the set. And on the top are all the paint pots, all the different colours. We'll put the lids on them so they don't dry out when we're not using them. And that is now installed in the art classroom. Instead of desks, there are a couple of little stools because they must move around a lot in this room. And here in the corner is the actual, the painting, the painting section. And this very cool, clever design is an easel. It's a painting easel. And this is really clever because you can push it forward and back and it sits the painting on it really well. I'll show you that in a moment. But we do need our still life in the corner, our actual model for what they're going to paint in this class. So they're going to paint a vase with some flowers and a plate with an apple, a green apple on it. And I can't get that to stand up. 
but that's okay because look, the apple in the picture is lying down and the green hasn't been coloured in yet, which is coincidental. That's very clever because do you know what colour is on the paintbrush? Green. There's already green on the tip of the paintbrush. I love that. I love these little details that Lego comes up with. So that's the music and art classroom. All of our classrooms are built. Now we can put this one on the side here if we wish. That looks pretty good there. So have a look at the back. I think it looks really awesome. I'm going to have a lot of fun playing in this. Oh, we can pull it apart. So let me show you how we can pull it apart. We can take the top off and we can build it up, up, up if there's not much real estate in the area where we are installing this school. So it's a nice apartment block here. Or, actually, yeah, we might put the clock on the outside. <laughs> that looks really good. Or we can pull it apart again and we can make it a long, thin school. And I need a couple of those little black connectors here to click it in. We can put it like this and we put the roof on here. Or we can put it on top of any of them if we like. I quite like this one. It looks much more spacious and open and airy. And it looks like they'll have a lot more fun like this more room to run around at break time. Okay, so we're looking at the inside now. This is going to be so much fun. That book's fallen out. Great, so much great play we can have with this school. We might have to move the other LEGO Friends girls in here soon too. But first up, it is the beginning of the school day and Stephanie has just arrived on her bike. She's having a bit of a chat with Matthew before the bell goes and in they need to go to store their things in the lockers. Looks like Matthew's ball's about to fall out of the locker at the top. I hope it doesn't hit anyone on the head. <laughs> Should be okay. And I can see Stephanie's having a chat with Miss Stevens, but Matthew is having a sleep under his homework book. <laughs> he must have stayed up too late last night. I hope he stays awake for his biology class because it's very important he learns all about the owl and its biology because today his presentation about the owl is due and it looks like having the owl on his head is an important part of that presentation. Hmm. Stephanie is looking through the microscope at one of the owl's feathers. It looks very interesting at such high magnification. And now she's looking through the telescope, not sure at what, but she's having a good peek in there. And now it is time for music class. And Stephanie is playing the guitar while Matthew sings along, I think. And now it's his turn to play and her turn to paint. She's hopefully going to finish all the green up today. Lunch time now and she gets the white with bologna and lettuce and he's choosing a juice to go with his uh, cheese and lettuce on rye and they are going to sit out in the sun at this beautiful bench and eat their lunch up before they play but I do think that Stephanie has got a little bit of homework left over that she needs to get done so she's gobbled her food down and she's getting her work done before they go and play some basketball looks like she might be doing a slam dunk Hope she doesn't end up in the net again this time. <laughs> that basketball hoop's going to be an awful lot of fun. There you have it. It is the entire Heart Lake High School. There is so much fun that we can have in this. We are going to have to bring other LEGO Friends girls in very soon and have another play. So make sure you subscribe and click like. Check out my other silly videos. And I'll see you again for another video very, very soon.